Happy Friday, everyone. We're here in a brand new private counseling service called Kindred Counseling Services, and we're here with licensed professional counselor, Brittany Schrader. I know for the past two years, we have heard self-care, um, you know, all the things that we're going through emotionally through COVID. So tell us a little bit about your counseling services and why you decided to start this profession. Sure. So my practice is brand new. Uh, my first heart open date was August the 3rd and of this year. And so I get a lot of questions about, you know, what my specialty is, who I see, and really I'll see anyone. Um, specifically, I'm accepting immediate uh, clients. So brand new clients have immediate openings for individual, couples, kiddos, five and up, adolescents, adults, um, elders beyond that. And so far as self-care and what happened with COVID, you know, whenever I graduated, which was in 2020 from Angela State University from the Counseling Psychology Program, it was in the, in the height of COVID. And mm -hmm. so I really didn't get a graduation. There was not like a whole lot of closure. And I was very fortunate to get a job right out of graduation in a wonderful position where I gained a lot of experience. And then through that experience and meeting so many clients and having all these contacts, I realized that there's an incredible need for licensed professional counselors, specifically folks who see kiddos and couples for marriage and family. And so I just hopped on it. I just felt a calling and I felt like I could be the person that could provide that help and that support. And so here we are. I think that people have this perception that counseling is for people who are really going through something bad, but it's not only for that, right? Absolutely. Counseling is a resource like water, the air that we breathe, the food that we eat. And I mean, sure, we see folks in crisis, you know, when something big happens, a death in the family, um, a breakup in a relationship like a marriage or divorce, uh, something along those lines. However, what I share with folks is, you know, it's, it's really good to have an awareness of when your check engine light comes on. And that's the time that you want to seek counseling. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure, like I said, we do, we take care of folks in crisis. And two, what would it look like if we got you in before you were in that state of crisis, right? When you feel that internal indicator go off, when your mm -hmm. check engine light goes off, that emotional check engine light, that's the time to start searching for a counselor for you or for your family or for your needs. And sometimes, you know, I have clients who will come once a week for two or three months and then they'll say, or we agree together, like everything's copacetic, things are improving, and I'll keep them on my calendar as one of my clients. And then we just do periodic checkups. Mm -hmm. And so if something happens, like I failed a test at school, or I, you know, my girlfriend broke up with me and I plan to marry her, or we can just hop on that when it comes about, resolve it, and then move on. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you, know, you don't necessarily have to have some really intense emotional thing going on. You could just simply say like, I don't, I'm not feeling myself or I want to learn some coping skills, or maybe there's some strain in my relationships that I want to improve on. And that's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. I think so many times I really, when I'm feeling stress, I'll busy myself with something else like eating or cleaning yeah. or doing something. Is there, you know, I know that everyone's mental uh, coping skills are different, but is there any thing that you'd recommend uh, that's a little more healthy than like overeating when I'm stressed? Well, the first thing that comes to mind, you know, when a, when a client or a friend like yourself shares like, okay, well, I have this going on. And instead of hopping on that topic, that's really cumbersome or bothering me, I'm just going to clean mm -hmm. or I'm going to make a huge meal or I'm going to meal prep or I'm going to go to the gym for two hours. Well, first of all, your check engine light's already on. Mm -hmm. You have an awareness that you're busying. Mm -hmm. And so it's important for us to take a snapshot of that in the present, right? and have that awareness and really sit with ourselves in silence and ask the questions. Why do I feel compelled to clean instead of address whatever this yeah deal is going on that's making me feel like I want to be really busy all the time? But it's really about identifying and having an awareness that things are going on mm -hmm. and stopping and evaluating that situation. And if it's not something that you can resolve on your own, that's a great opportunity to go to a counselor Someone yeah to that's so it. smart because i think so many times like going back to your example when your check engine light goes on you're like oh how much is this gonna cost me i'm just gonna ignore it till it like goes away right. maybe it'll fix itself sure. it's very much like our mental self-awareness that yeah. we need to fix so you just had a 
slamming open house that was completely packed. How, if people did not attend your open house, how would they find you? Are you online? Do you have a website, social sure. media? Yeah, I'm out there for you guys. So you can Google me. Um, you can Google my practice name, which is Kindred Counseling Services. You can Google my first and last name, Brittany Schrader. Um, so I've got a Google business profile. I have a Facebook page, which is Kindred Counseling Services of San Angelo. You guys are more than welcome to follow and like and just scope things out. I also have a profile on Psychology Today. And all of those links have direct links to my professional website. And what's really cool is embedded in that website is what's called the client portal. So prospective clients or existing clients can actually go in, type in their first and last name, email, set up a password, and they have it full access to my calendar. Mm -hmm. So someone who I've never met can go in and schedule a free 15 minute consultation on whatever day is open on my calendar. We talk, if I'm the right fit, they can go in and schedule an appointment every week if they see oh, fit that's and then awesome. I can either approve or deny, you know, based on the time in my schedule. Okay, <laughs> check it out. It's on Pecos Street and then we'll post the links below. Thank you so much, Brittany. This You're is very wonderful. welcome. Yeah, you guys come see me. Thank you very much.